Hi, my name is Paul Stringer. I'm a documentary filmmaker and photographer from Birmingham. Uh, and today we are on our way to Calais to deliver vital aid to the refugees that are stranded there, um, fleeing persecution and war. So, how did you get involved with uh, Stand Up to Racism and the organisation? So, um, through a friend of mine, I uh, found out about Stand Up to Racism and the trip. Um, I wanted to get involved in any way that I could. Um, as I think it's a very important cause and a very relevant cause at the moment to support our fellow human beings uh, in providing relief and, and aid where it's needed. Okay. And what sort of documentary are you looking to film? Well, I want to um, try and show the people back at home in Britain that these people are uh, humans, they are brothers and sisters, they are fellow um, inhibitors of our planet uh, and that uh, no one should be made or forced into the living conditions that they're in um, and I want to make sure that people are aware of it and I want to make sure that people um, hear about it and I think that that will galvanize um, more of a response to the crisis. So you're coming on a convoy today with several vehicles and there are two, a few other visits coming up as well. Mm. Tell us a little bit more about those. Well I think it's uh, an important legacy to this trip. This trip is very much about um, delivering on the ground aid and support in terms of donations and supplies and also trying to find out what people actually need. Obviously um, we're quite far away in, 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 in relative terms from Calais so it's not, not as easy it is to find out exactly what they need on the ground. Um, and then being able to report that back and I think that the, uh, the teachers and the students uh, and the social workers going over in October will be a, a, a nice addition and a great top up of support and solidarity from Britain uh, and from Birmingham as well. What would you like to achieve from your documentary filmmaking? What kind of things would you like to cover? Who would you like to speak to? And what kind of change would you like to see? Well, me, for me, the, the, the ultimate goal of any work that I do um, on this trip is to make people act and is to make people uh, aware. There's a, a photographer I spoke to when I was in Bosnia a few months ago who said that if one person has one conversation with one other person off the back of your photograph or your documentary, you're starting to galvanise a change. And I think that's very important, these conversations about who these refugees are um, and how people can help them is incredibly important and if I can document just a small proportion of that and get one or two people talking about it uh, and maybe one or two people affecting some sort of change then I would I'd consider that a job well done. And tell me just quickly how do you feel? Um, we, we're a little bit late for the ferry but we're going to be there just in a matter of hours. Um, how do you feel about the visit? Yeah, well, I mean, on the whole, I'm fairly um, optimistic and positive, but from what I've heard and what I've seen so far, the, the conditions that um, the refugees are living in are very, very dire. Um, and I think that it will be very hard to, um, to sort of to take that in while still trying to do a job. Um, uh, and that's going to be quite a, a challenge. Um, as for the traffic and the lateness towards the ferry, that's just that's just how things go. Um, that's typical motorway M25 drama. Um, and obviously, we've found a solution to that, and that's fine. Um, but I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm very concerned that I don't want to tread on anyone's toes. I don't want to be uh, imposed on anyone. But I want to make sure that people can receive the message that these people are fellows and. They they need help uh, and we need to do it soon rather than later. Thank you very much. Sure.